can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. On this episode, we're going to do a little bit, uh, probably a nine month review of the Stanley Fat Max. I bought it back in November of 2023. So roughly, it's been about nine months since I had it. And I just want to go over a few pros and cons about this machine. So stay tuned. Let's get going. All right, so the one cool thing about the Stanley Fat Max that I love is it will hold a charge forever. And we'll, we'll just check this battery status. You can see it is totally charged and I haven't used it in like three months. So that is a big plus for the uh, Stanley Fat Max. And this is the uh, 1200 amp, uh, 120 PSI, 6.2 amps. Um, comes with a four USB power supplies. It has a air compressor. It also has a alternator check. So you can uh, check your alternator. Okay, probably one of the cons that I have for this uh, Stanley Fat Max is the booster cables. Um, in my opinion, they're too short. They're only about two foot long. So whenever you're trying to hook up to your battery, you have to place the machine just perfect inside your you know, engine so it'll reach the uh, positive and negative. But I wish these were a little bit longer Maybe another foot, uh, two foot. Um, I think that would be perfect. But they do store really simple. I just wish they were a little bit longer. Okay, this is the air compressor compartment. It's got your hose. I'll show you the tip of it. Let me zoom in. Just your normal uh, air compressor hose. It uh, works really well. I just wish the hose was a little bit longer, kind of like the uh, battery cables. I wish it was just a tad longer, but this is a lot easier to use airing up tires than it is uh, hooking it up to the battery. So you can lay this box right on the ground, right by your tire and air it up. Okay, I'm gonna show you probably the best part that I think for the Stanley uh, Fat Max is the air compressor. So if you turn on the air compressor, you see that number 36. That's how many, uh, how much PSI is on going to your tire. So if you're looking at your tire and it says um, the max it can take is 39 and you want to put it on 39, you can set it on 39, start the compressor, and when it hits uh, 39 PSI, it's going to cut off on its own. And these little buttons, you can lower the pressure. Like say for my lawnmower tire, it takes 12. Start the compressor, it's gonna stop at 12. Then you go to my car, a lot of times it's around 37. So whatever you're uh, trying to air up, whatever kind of tire you're airing up, your lawnmower, car, SUV, or a truck, you can look at the tire, set the PSI and it, once it reaches that it just cuts off on its own. So that's a great part of this uh, Stanley Fat Max. Another thing that the Stanley Fat Max does is what it's called an alternator check. I love that it has that function but what's bad is when you're hooking up your cables they're kind of short so that kind of gets hard and if you don't hook them just right you'll keep getting the error until you get a good connection on your positive and negative. Um, the negative is probably the hardest one to get a good uh, connection to. I don't know why but if you don't have a good connection with your cables, then it won't do the alternator check. It took me a long time to do it. I know I did it on video the, uh, when I first purchased this Stanley, but since then I've checked it on my truck here just recently, and man, it took forever to run this test because it kept giving me error messages saying it wasn't connected up properly, and it was all because I didn't have these secure enough. So that's probably the only downfall with the alternator uh, check. Everything else works just fine. I love the USB power supplies, having four of them. You have your plug where you can plug up to charge it. But like I said, this thing has been sitting in my hot garage for 
probably three months without being charged and it's still full and just playing with it, it still hasn't gone down any you still got a very good charge i know i've boosted off my battery to my truck because i don't drive my truck that much anymore um, one reason because it doesn't have ac but i was checking the i checked the alternator and then to boost it off my truck is a, has a v8 and it boosted it right off and it probably sat for a good month and a half uh, without being moved and it wouldn't start this thing I hooked it up and it started right up very simple i was using it for my lawnmower because i had a pretty bad battery on my lawnmower and i was a little cheap to get a new one but i finally got a new one for it and it it would work super easy on that um, and i use the air compressor a lot on my lawnmower i have one tire in the back that goes flat after a couple days but overall i am really happy with this i think it's a lot better than my last one i had i know it's definitely bigger it has more uh amps to jump start anything from my v8 to my suv to my car and even my lawnmower i love the air compressor so you, you can set it any psi you want and it's going to stop when it reaches it just wish it had longer cables and maybe a longer air hose but i am real happy with it it's really turned out to be something that um, was worth the money and i've used it quite a bit except for uh here recently it's just been sitting in my garage because i really hadn't needed it but if i did it's fully charged and ready to go so just to wrap up everything i'm really impressed with this stanley fat max it's um it's done everything that it advertises to do the pros like i said is the air compressor uh the four slots for your usb ports the power it has to uh jump start a car truck suv even a lawnmower has plenty of power with the 1200 amps probably the con is the alternator uh checker it's real sensitive and if i had to say anything else it'd probably be on the jump start cables they're a little short i wish they were just a little bit longer so you could get better connections to the battery um, that's what makes it hard with the the alternator check is the negative side has to be set just perfect before it will start the check if not it just keeps giving you a flashing error sign so it's real sensitive on that but those two things are probably the biggest things i would change about it uh, but it still works it just makes it a little bit uh, tougher to use but it has plenty of power um, even has a light i don't know if you can see that or not because my lighting out here is horrible right now but it has a pretty good light overall i'm real happy with it i do uh, recommend it so just wanted to give a nine month review on this and i just want to say thank you for watching this video thank you for uh i know it's been a while since i made the video like I said, I've been having issues with my back. We finally got some decent weather. It's only 97 degrees this afternoon. Uh, we had a norther come through, so it lowered it about 10 degrees. But it's still kind of muggy. But it don't feel too bad out here right now. So I wanted to try to do a video. I will uh, keep you posted about my back and what the uh, doctors are going to try. I do have a procedure coming up. And I'll tell you more about that after it's done. And I'll let you know what they did and how it turned out. So, thank you for watching. If you, hasn't, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That really helps uh, the video out. And until uh, the next video, we'll catch you later. Y'all have a good one.